Hi everybody, John Locke here, and today I've got this Amazon Basics branded disk detainer uh, padlock. I have to say that I'm pretty impressed uh, with this lock. It is a nine disk uh, disk detainer, rear tensioning, um, and quite difficult to open. It's taken me quite a bit to, to open it, um, and let's see if I can if I can get it. All right, I've got my silver bullet here set up for rear tensioning. Put the pick in. And I'm going to be quiet here while I pick because it takes a lot of my attention. Um, but just to say my general technique is simple. It's um, just pick the discs that are clearly binding. If they're not clearly binding, I'll leave them be. And if I can't find a gate, put the, the disc back at the zero and wait till I can actually find find a uh, a gate And we got the open there. Wow, that was, it was really tricky. Um, but there we go. It's open. Uh, not an easy, not an easy pick. Like I said, I'm really impressed with this one. Um, seems like a good lock. Uh, a lot better than kind of the generic uh, uh, stuff that I find on, on eBay and, and Amazon for kind of Chinese disc detainer uh, locks. This is a step up from all of this. All right, guys. Well, I really, really wanted to see what was in this guy. Uh, so, of course, these aren't guttable uh, unless you destroy them. <laughs> so, look, I just destroyed it. Uh, I haven't taken this apart yet, other than take this first disc off. Um, it's not even a disc. This is just really uh, what keeps the core retained during the manufacturing process. Um, I'm not exactly sure how they get these things assembled, but... Uh, I think they slide in the core and that caps it off. So we have the core still. Um, and even despite all my attempts at destroying it, uh, it's still working. That's quite, uh, that's quite nice to see. So uh, what I'm going to try to do, let's, well, before I do anything, let's take the key back out. Just going to use these tweezers to try to keep all the discs in place. You can see right here the sidebar 
right there and around it is uh, the <clears throat> the outside of the plug. So let's see, I'm wondering if I put my key in and turn it slightly, if the whole plug will rise up and look it is. So that's, I think I'm able to, to get it all out of there. Oh, amazing. Okay. Um, pushing back all down the discs. I don't want those to go flying everywhere quite yet. Let me do this. And it's quite sticky, some type of, of grease on it. Uh, and let me zoom in a little bit here, get a little bit closer shot. Yeah, I think that's better. So this first thing, this is the, the free floating spinner disc, uh, which has the profile on it. So uh, I'll put that to the side and let's see what we've got. So on top, of, this is a spacer. So spacer first, we'll put our spacers there. And first disc, just, just the one gate on it. Let me pull that up. No false gates on, on these discs. Can you see it? Can you see where the gate is? Yeah, silver on silver, a little hard to see. Uh, so there's the no, no false gates, anything like that. Another spacer. Let me get rid of this sidebar here while we're at it. Second disc with the spacer. Yeah, really packed with grease, so I have to go clean up a bit after this. Cool, more discs, more spacers. Like I said, everything's really kind of a sticky mess because of the, the grease. So there we have it. We've got <clears throat> nine discs, no false gates on any of them. Um, you know, that's, I always find that interesting about these Chinese, uh, well, I don't know where this one's produced, um, but let me just say generically, um, these Chinese uh, disc detainer locks is, I'm always a little surprised that they don't have false gates. I mean, from an engineering perspective, seem, or manufacturing perspective, it seems like such an easy thing to do. I'm not sure what problems that would cause you, um, but uh, it doesn't seem like there's really a compelling reason not to. Uh, you can see the double ball bearings in there. I'm not gonna knock those out, uh, no reason to, but uh, yeah, just a, a simple mechanism. The actuator here, uh, the groove in the channel, here where the sidebar sits, that's what keeps it from turning until the sidebar can drop. Um, simple design uh, used basically uh, uh, across the board with all these disc detainer um, locks. I'd say it's a nice one for being nine gates. It would be even nicer if it had false sets. The profile on this first uh, free spinner is a little extra um, thing that uh, adds a little more security, um, but not really much, but 
Glad they added that. Wish they added false gates, but pretty nice overall. All right, guys, uh, that's all I wanted to show today. Uh, and just wish you a good rest of your day, a good rest of your week, and hope to catch you in my next video. Bye for now.